it's day 78 folks and the day after my first race as a professional athlete at the age of 57 so how did it go well it was hot it was humid and it was hard so the three H's yesterday hot humid and hard but uh, if I was to give a post-mortem about my race I would say well I'm grateful that I was able to do it that's the first thing and after just 77 days of training and my first uh, nine kilometer run about 61 minutes all those months ago all those weeks ago and yesterday I ran 49 minutes 31 for my my official time of 9k so that was okay my PB is 46 minutes so I missed that by quite a chunk but I put that down to the heat and humidity it was definitely 30 seconds a kilometer hotter uh, than when I ran my PB for my 9k which was on a cool morning at 6 o'clock this race was at 8 o'clock in the heat so a lot of difference there but overall pretty happy and the one big thing that I learned from this particular race was the word patience I've got to be patient I ran 77 76 days before this race and training and that's not a really long period of time to get somebody from zero who had an ACL injury and was uh, 15 kilos overweight and is still overweight to be able to run sub 50 minutes so I'm happy and I know that I have to be more patient so I know that I can run a lot faster I know that I can lose the weight I need to lose patience is going to get me there and it's going to be much more rewarding when I demonstrate to myself my ability to be patient and wait keep training hard I'm out here again this morning the day after the race it's pouring down with the rain and I just ran 10 k's and uh, it wasn't easy it was pretty hard but I ran 10 k's this morning because I'm super 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 focused on achieving my goals so yeah day 77 the race day was really good there's a lot of people there a thousand people we don't have the uh, official results yet to tell you where I got overall in my age group and all of the uh, competitors but as soon as we find that out I'll post it in one of my videos and uh, the training continues now so the next race I'm looking at is a 10k race in Merida which is here on the Yucatan Peninsula in Quintana Roo and we're just looking at to check out when the dates are we think it's in the first uh, week or so of December but we'll have a look at that and then we'll decide uh, if that's the one I'm going to go for want to get a few races done while the weather gets colder or cooler it's so hot running in this humidity here so the other thing we're going to be looking at is races overseas in cooler climates because uh, my body struggles with the humidity and that's got to do with weight it's also got to do with genetics and it's also got to do with the training at the moment so overall um, I'd give myself a six out of ten six and a half out of ten really happy with the way that things are going I'm progressing and the key word out of this whole race weekend experience was patience I've just got to be more patient don't get ahead, don't get ahead of myself my training is reflective of what I'm racing so I've got to up the ante in the training a little bit put a few more kilometers in that's why I came out and did 10k this morning that was really really good just building my legs and my whole uh, core to be stronger that's what it's about at the moment so there we are a wrap on race day and day 78 so you get two days in one and uh, if you haven't checked out my race day video go and check it out I'll put the description in the link below I'll put the link in the description below I should say and uh, check out what happened yesterday at the race it was quite a fun time and uh, as always thank you to my wonderful family for their support it was fantastic having them with me yesterday we had a great time together and we had a little celebration afterwards as well so that was all good so I'm off, it's Monday morning, it's time to start the week folks, hit the reset button, have a fantastic week, get out there and chase your goals, and I will be back tomorrow, we're getting forever closer to that big 8-0 day, 80, but we're at 79 tomorrow, so come back and join me for that, and to remember how to do that, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, you'll be notified when I do drop my videos, and don't forget to send me your comments, what did you think of my race? 
what should I be doing in training? Give me your tips. Looking forward to hearing from everybody out there. Till tomorrow, folks. See you soon.